13 returning starters, the Wolf Pack will enter the 2017 season under the direction of a new alpha. Hi, I'm Cassie Soto inside the Mountain West Network studio. Here's what you need to know as we count down a kickoff with the Nevada Wolf Pack. Jay Norvell comes to Nevada with over 30 years of experience, including stints as an offensive coordinator, but has never sat in the driver's seat. The first year head coach is inheriting a program that isn't too far removed from competing in a bowl game and brings a style of coaching some players just aren't used to. Uh, coach Norvell is, is really just done a great job of coming in here and really just trying to mentally break us and just trying to see how much we can truly handle. And then he's like, you think you're done, but you're really not, and we're going to make you do more. You're only halfway done. Coach Norvell has done a great job of emphasizing uh, competition. Um, no matter what we're doing, uh, whether it be lifts, conditioning, one-on-one uh, -on -one drills, or even a, a full-fledged team scrimmage, um, we're competing. Uh, we're competing because, you know, uh, it's kind of like the saying, you know, iron sharpens iron. I feel like he believes in that wholeheartedly. With the departure of the pack's leading rusher, James Butler, Jackson Kincaid will be Nevada's go-to guy. Kincaid was able to get some playing time as a true freshman a year ago and quickly impressed with his 78 carries for 334 yards and also rushed for three touchdowns. I think JB, when he was there, he did a great job of, of uh, taking those young backs and really just trying to give him all the knowledge or give them all the knowledge that he had. And so Jackson was able just to kind of feed off that, absorb all of that, and he wasn't expecting to have to step up and be the guy this year, but that's what happens in this sport. Our running back position was one of the deepest positions on our team, and we felt like we had a number of guys that were capable of playing really winning football for us. What, what uh, this does is it gives those guys the opportunity. Uh, Jackson Kincaid, Kelton Moore, Isaiah Williams, all those guys, we expect them to step up. Junior Malik Reed will be crucial for the Pack's defense after he finished last season with 59 tackles and three forced fumbles. Reed's experience of starting in all 12 games will make him a leader to the rest of the defensive line, something coaches are already expecting from him. Just a dynamic athlete that can bring pressure off the edge. He can run sideline to sideline. I don't really think he even has a understanding of how good he could be yet. I'm really excited about pushing him. I'm really excited about challenging him every day. Taking a look at Nevada's schedule, the matchup versus the team's southern rival will be the one to watch. The Pack will take on the Rebels on November 25th, and the players who have grown with the program understand the meaning behind the Fremont Cannon. Though he's new to the Nevada-UNLV rivalry, Coach Norvell knows the importance of the cannon being painted blue. We take the cannon and we move it all over the building. We put it in the locker room. We surprise the players on the field. We put it in our front office. We, we move it around as emphasis because we want our kids to feel how important it is to have that. Um, I love rivalries. I, I, I've been a part of some great rivalries, um, but I can't wait to play UNLV this year. You know, I grew up in Reno, so I was I was around that game my entire life. Um, for the majority of my life, that can was blue. In my freshman year when I was redshirting, that was the first year, you know, you know we came in, came into Mackey and they took it. And then we went down there, smacked it in, got it back, they came and took it back. And this last year, you know, we, we went down there and just gave it to them again and, and got it back. But now it's like, it's my last chance. Wolfpack fans have a big reason to be excited, and that's because of the quarterback, David Cornwell. He's a transfer from Alabama. He's going to be the trigger man in the new air raid offense from Matt Mummy. That's the son of Hal, the architect of the air raid offense. He's the offensive coordinator. They say they want to throw it 40 times a game, and they have a really solid core at receivers, four guys with experience, including Caleb Bossom, who's a transfer from Washington State, Wyatt Demps, and Brendan O'Leary Orange return. They're big, they're tall, they're athletic. On the defensive side, the secondary is experienced and very good. Asani Rufus and Damian Baber are the two safeties that really catch my eye so far. Thanks, John. Nevada will open up the season at Northwestern on September 2nd. From the Mountain West Network studio, I'm Cassie Soto.